Chapter 13, The New Scriptures, as written by Sananda, Jesus. Posted on September 7th, 2013 at 2.55 p.m. When you find yourself in a moment in your life where everything seems to be piling up on you, your feelings begin to sag into frustration, anger, or despair. Look up beloved ones, call to me, ask for my help. I will gladly give it to you. There is no event, no drama, no illness or pain that cannot be soothed by the love of one who adores you. Even if you are in a great physical pain or you have suffered a terrible loss, I can come to you and heal the ache in your soul I know how to do this because it was done to me. You know of the pain I suffered at the end of my life? It is time I spoke of it here. I knew when I was taken away by the soldiers that would lie ahead for me. I had seen the vision of myself on the cross and had made peace with myself and with my heavenly host, the team of loving angels and masters who watched over me during my life here on earth. I had talked with prime creator whom I love as my father, mother, for they are both. I called on all of them there in the garden of Kistimini. I had learned to go into deep meditation to leave my body in preparation for the trial we knew I would have to undergo. I was prepared, as prepared as any soul in a human body could be, or at least I thought I was. My beloved Judas, who is by my side now as the being you know as Lucifer, was sent to summon the soldiers for he was the only one who would have the strength to carry out such an errand. You see, this was true because of, the, of his own mission on earth. Only he had the complete memory of why he was here and where he had come from. It was also true for him that he did not have the direct connection to God because of his special agreement, which you can hear him tell in his own words on blogtalkradio.com slash hollow earth network. On July 27th, he, 2013, he told of his return home and the world he knew for the first time that his true identity was as the bringer of light, not Satan or the devil. His inner strength and his memory of love of his creator had sustained him for thousands of years as he carried out his mission to bring the love of self to humanity. I knew the condemnation of Pon Pontius Pilate, who was acting in concert with all those who wished to see my demise, would be devastated, would be a devastating blow. Being in a human body makes it difficult to see the greater meaning when your own people, the community of my peers and my neighbors, condemn you to a hideous death. There were moments when the disappointment was also too much to bear because it meant that my words had not touched their hearts. And for some, my life and my teachings had no power to change their minds. The jeering crowds told me that humanity was still under the influence of darkness and this added to my pain. My beloved family, wife, mother, father, my friends and disciples knew how to send the loving energy which carried me, lifted me, sustained me as I carried the heavy cross which was to become the symbol of my life on earth. Truly, I felt no effort, no pain as I made that last journey. I was able to relinquish my hold on the body as the execu executioners bound it to the cross 
and began their gruesome task of nailing my hands and feet to it. I rested in the powerful energy of love, which my beloved channeled to me, lifting my spirit and sustaining me in the higher dimensions where physical pain does not exist. I saw the eyes of those whose job it was to execute me and I forgave them. I cried out for their forgiveness for I saw their terrible pain and I knew they would suffer a thousand deaths before, before their actions would be cleansed from their souls. I felt the presence of God smiling to me through the channel of light which my dear ones created and sustained moment by moment. It was only when the cross was raised and they saw my body there taken from them so cruelly that they faltered for a moment because of their own terrible pain. For a moment, they could not bear the sorrow they felt and they forgot our plan to sustain the light channel. For a moment, my consciousness crashed back to earth, back into the body in great pain. For that moment, I too lost my grip of the light which sustained my soul. As pain seared through the body like a knife, I cried out, Father, why have you forsaken me? My cry roused my beloved, and they resumed their heroic efforts to sustain me. They carried me to the light when I did not have the strength to do it by myself. In spite of their own pain, they were able to hold on to their great faith and to remember, to promise we had made to God together. They promised they were able to help me to make my ascension to higher planes. We stood vigil as life began to pass from the body, but we were able to keep the thread of life to the heart, which continued to beat in an imperceptible rhythm attuned to the Christ. Consciousness of the seventh dimension. It was our plan, the moment we had been trained for. When the body was wrapped in linen and carried away, it was accompanied by my dear Mother Mary, my wife, and the others who knew what was to occur. It was important that any observers be convinced of my death so that the final stage could be accomplished without interference. There in the cave, I returned to take possession of the body, which would be my last full incarnation on earth, and lifted it into the fifth dimension. Here it has remained in safekeeping the body which will serve me again when I return to walk among you. When I reappeared to talk with my disciples, it was with this body. I was then able to appear and disappear at will by moving through the portal to higher dimensions. It was this process which I wanted to teach this ascension, which is the model for all of you to follow when, when you too raise yourselves to the fifth dimension. Fortunately, you will not have to experience the pain of crucifixion. Although some of you may now be in pain because of illness or injury, you will be able to raise yourselves as I did to the place of peace, the fifth dimension where all suffering drops away. You must learn to do this in order to accomplish your own ascension. It would be a very difficult assignment to lift the body with your higher dimensions if you did not have the training and help to accomplish it. This is why we have stressed over and over in messages from all the masters, from the mother, father, God and prime creator that you must now, this day, begin to take possession of your body, acknowledge your ownership, 
and your responsibility for your own health and learn to heal all illness, all pain. In doing so, you are restoring your deepest connections to the body, which was your precious precious gift of life given to you by your creator to serve you as the vehicle which will allow you to ascend in possession of the body so that you will not need to ever again incarnate in lower dimensions. You will be free to move throughout the dimensions in your light bodies for adventures in higher dimensions and in your physical body when you wish to return to revisit earth to assist those who come after you. You will be able with training to recalibrate your density to suit the needs of those who are in lower dimensional states and who require a visible presence in order to work with you. We have in place a plan to help you learn to take possession of your bodies as you heal the illness and disabilities which this life has left you with. We have asked Catherine, Lady Portia, to lead healing groups in which a large group of healers will assist, just as my beloved team did for me, so that each person may experience the energy of light as they restore their own deepest connections to the body. By accomplishing this healing, you will each prepare yourselves for the day you own ascension. You see, it is not simply a matter of learning to leave the body, as many of you do in meditation and in sleep. You must learn to take full possession in awareness of every cell, every organ, bone, and muscle, so that you can transport your body and you with it through the portal to the fifth dimension. This sounds like a difficult challenge, doesn't it? It is indeed, but you will receive training as I did, and you will learn to master the feeling of being in complete alignment mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. You may begin by listening to the healing sessions, which have already been recorded on blogtalkradio.com slash channel panel. You will also be able to officially sign up to be a healer, even if you have no experience or knowledge of healing techniques. You will learn as you listen, and you will find yourself growing in awareness and in good health. The sign-up process, which can be accessed by going to accessed by going to Catherine's website www.whoneedslight.org is not necessary is not a necessary step but it will give you the pleasure of knowing you have declared yourself a member of the team and you will be on the list to receive email notices of coming healing sessions or any change in schedule. It will also give us the official number so that we can announce this to the group. It is a great morale booster to the team and to those who are being healed to know how many souls are on their side. We can then begin to proclaim to the world the massive numbers we have attracted. You do love numbers, don't you? You will also be able to sign up to put yourself on the list of those who wish to have their name called in a special session to be healed, but it is not really necessary to fill out the form in order to be included in the healing sessions. You see, these sessions are being conducted in the fifth dimension with all beings communicate telepathically and where you are well known to the healers who have volunteered to be of service to help you on your path to ascension. Here is the way it works. Catherine will read off some names of people who are being organized and grouped generally according to the worst of the symptoms they wish to have healed. You 
may simply mentally proclaim your wish to be included and the Ecturians who are in charge of the healing technologies will place you in their circle of healing couches where you will be assigned a team to attend to your needs. While the healing team in the fifth dimension works, you too begin the healing process. You must also open your heart and your mind to receive the light which comes directly from God. By doing this, you create the atmosphere of perfect health within your body and your body will respond accordingly. You may listen to any number of the, these radio shows and you may include yourself in as many sessions as you require. There is no limit to the kindness and generosity of the Ecturian healers who are members of a highly evolved culture. They see themselves as a group, consciousness prepared and willing to do what is ever necessary to help you ascend with their Mother Earth. They have already accomplished this and so are experts in knowing what is needed. In addition to the Acturians who, Acturians who are in charge of conducting this massive project on the motherships which they have brought for your purpose, you will also be helped by a great team of ascended masters, archangels and guides. With your explicit approval, your higher self who knows every detail of what you require to heal completely, including the psychological shift, which is so crucial to your healing, will take charge of working with them directly. The center of the healing arena will be occupied by Mother and Father God, St. Germain, myself, Archangels, Michael, Raphael, Gabriella, Ariel, Celeste, Uriel, and many, many others who will bring the force of their beings to channel the light from the central sun, the presence of Prime Creator, just as my family did for me. Now the best part, on each call, you will experience the presence of hundreds and eventually thousands of healings on the ground, as we call it, who will send their own human energy to assist you. These generous souls, light workers all, have agreed to give of their time and their energy to help you. They are aware of the magnitude of this project and of the goal in mind, not only that your bodies be healed, but that you learn in the process to resume command of your own selves, and especially that you heal your relationship to your bodies. As you all work together, you will all be lifted. You will feel the tremendous energy, which can only be generated by the presence of thousands of hearts focused on the same goal, the healing of the entire human race, one individual at a time. You will begin to experience the truth of oneness as you experience your deep connection to your fellow humans who are also there to be healed and to assist you with your healing. Each one will be inspired to strengthen themselves in order to then turn to help others. And so the chain reaction will ignite great beacons of light across the planet has begun. We will also ask, we have also asked that you sign up on the website so, so that you can be officially counted in the healings which can be documented. If we have your ailment before and your testimony and preferably your doctors, which attests to your wellness after sessions, we will be able to show the world the truth of what we are doing. Your medical establishment will be at first skeptical, 
But as the numbers mount, it will be impossible for the world to ignore the fact that true healing is a spiritual event, not a medical one. Of course, many cultures throughout the ages and the current medical practices in Asian cultures rely on the techniques we are using. This has been largely ignored or superficially understood by Western medicine. Our work will unify and bring understanding to the entire planet. The methods I used when I was here on earth were not magic, nor were they a talent unique to me. The same energies I called upon to lift people up, to help those who were lame to walk again, and those who were ill to be well, are the energies we'll call, we will call upon in the healing groups. I will gladly give my name and my support to this wonderful project. Together we will create a modern day miracle. Join us, beloved ones, and we will bring peace, harmony, and perfect health to all who desire it. You only need to ask to receive. For some of you, the receiving part will be a great challenge. You are used to being asked to give, but you have not learned to receive, to absorb the great love, your creator of your fellow humans. Your hearts have been closed and yet you cry out that you are lonely and in pain. Your vision has been dimmed and you continue to complain that you cannot see. You do not feel the effect of our presence, not because we are not there, but because your channels have been closed down. Only you can restore your vision, reclaim the telepathic abilities you were born with, and join us on a higher plane. Only you can heal the effects of life in the dense and unyielding third dimension. The veil has been lifted. New awareness is now available to you. Turn toward the light, dear ones, and you will see the new eyes. Open your hearts and allow the love to flow in, into you, and you will know the great blessings which are awaiting you. I am Sananda, the servant of God. I bring you love and light to show the way. Transcribed by Catherine E. May, September 1st, 2013, 2 p.m.